I'm pleased with the crowd tonight. Peter Blonde is somebody who I know because he got my taxes reduced. Thank you, Dexter. This is the sole area I practice in. I started practicing in this field back in 1997. The firm has been practicing solely in this area since 1932. I appreciate the turnout, and I know that you all believe that you're overtaxed. The problem is legally what we need to prove is that you're overassessed, and there's a very big difference between the two. You're assessed and taxed based on use and occupancy on what we call a taxable status date. Taxable status date in the five boroughs, January 5th of each year. On or about January 15th every year, New York City releases your new assessment. That new assessment will correspond with your taxes that start in July of that year. The part that you need to focus on, particularly if you are what we call tax class one, or a one, two, or a three family house, you'll see something that says estimated market value. And my guess is one or more of you here over the years have gotten your notice and said, this is outrageous. If they think my property is worth this, let them come and pay for it. I'll be happy to give it to them. Here's the problem with that. What the estimated market value is, is nothing more than either a computer or an individual's opinion of what your property is worth. It does not necessarily correlate to what you're being assessed and taxed on. How do you figure out what you're really being taxed on? Take your assessment, divide by 0 0.06. That is what you're being taxed on. A maximum assessment increase that they can give you in one year, 6%. Over five years, 20%. Question for prospective purchasers. Can I be reassessed after I buy a property? The answer is no. If they have the property assessed based on a, a taxable value, say two million, and you buy it for 20 million, you can still only go up by the 6% to your assessment. But I'm gonna throw out the first question. Why is my house is just like my neighbor's house and their tax for half as much as mine? Candidly speaking, nothing more than one person's good luck and another person's bad luck. And why do I say that? because of the limitation. The city would love to increase your neighbors. They can't. Their hands are tied. Their hands are tied. The saying that we have in this industry is you cannot prove your over-assessment based on somebody else's under-assessment. So if your neighbor, going back decades, was lucky enough to have a low assessment when they started, it's always stayed lower than you because, again, typically speaking, the city is maxing out your assessment. If it's a one, two, or three family house, you're gonna go up by that 20% over five years. If you annualize it, it's 4% a year on average. And your neighbor's going up by the same amount, but they started here, you started here, and it's not gonna change.